more in the mother fine sunshines. Fuckers. Oh my god, it's uh, hard to get hiking this morning because I've been watching four moose and they're still over here for a fucking hour. Um, I was sitting there making my coffee and I heard a bunch of rustling grunting up here behind me. I saw one bull moose up there and then he kind of disappeared. I figured he went over the ridge and about 20 minutes later he had circled around the lake here and then I heard uh, a few more noises. There's four of them and two of them walked through the water and now They've been feeding over here behind the lake for about an hour or so, but it's been watching them feed. <sighs> There's one big ass bull, two smaller adolescent ones, and one cow. Fucking insane. And I'm sitting there taking pictures of those guys. I look up over behind me on this ridge, and there's a fucking lone elk up on that crest. I couldn't get a picture of him in time before he took off, but holy shit. <laughs> it's been quite the morning, man. <sighs> Beautiful. Welcome to Colorado, goddammit. It's gonna be a great fucking day. Motherfuckers, first big ass climb of the day is done. It wasn't that fucking bad. It's just hot as balls out, so I'm dripping with sweat. 12,900 feet and some change, but we're getting even fucking higher today because the next climb is putting us over 13,000 feet, which is the high point on the Colorado Trail, man. Huh. It's fucking amazing out here, man. <laughs> This last climb is going to be a bear, man. Sitting at about 12.5 right now, I'm above tree line. And we're still gaining another, <coughs> another 800 foot in elevation. Uh, holy fuck. We up here, man.
motherfuckers back on trail, man. Shit. I sat up there at that fucking high point <coughs> for like an hour and a half. It was fucking awesome. That other crew that was coming out of town after me, they finally showed up. So, they're all good people. Uh, figure I better get my ass up and start walking though, because there are some clouds rolling in. And I don't want to get stuck up on this high point. If it starts, uh, starts to thunder and lightning and shit. Probably not a good idea to be up here above tree line. But, it's going to be a fairly easy afternoon. Downhill for the most part. Uh, we're like 15 miles, I think, to uh, Spring Creek Pass. So, as long as I get within 10 miles, we'll, we'll call it a day. I don't, there's a yurt apparently coming up here like 7. If that's cool and there's water, I might just fucking stay there. 14 mile a day, whatever the fuck, I don't care. Um, I'm on vacation, man. Holy shit, just heard some thunder. All right, I'm gonna get my ass moving and get down a little bit more in elevation, man. motherfuckers we got some hail going on here i'm gonna go ahead and put the camera away uh, and hopefully not get struck by lightning we'll check in with you guys when this is passed the yurt is no more the platform remains though and it's gonna get me out of this fucking rain for a minute <coughs> there's a spring around here somewhere wait till this rain stops <coughs> go load up on water see if we want to stay here for camp or not we'll check in with you later folks yep camping here so that yurt that i was up at well non-existent yurt um just came back down to the valley there was that spring um and set up my tent there's a nice little camp spot here in the uh trees unfortunately they're all killed by beetles but it's uh nice and blocked by the wind uh the rains did come in and luckily i set my tent up right before it started pissing so i stayed dry and the rain put me to sleep so i took an hour nap just woke up ate dinner 
Then I'm about to fuck up some Nutella, edit my video. And tomorrow we're going to push it out of town, man. This has been a nice, easy stretch, but the reward of the views has been fucking insane. I mean, the elevation did kick my ass, but, man, those views, you didn't even think about your fucking legs hurting after you saw that scenery. Colorado's got it going on for sure, man. But we're uh, eight and a half miles to uh, Spring Creek Trailhead, and then it's like a 14-mile hitch, I believe, into Lake City, Colorado. Now, the initial plan is to get in and get out. Since I just was, was literally in town in Silverton like two days ago um, to save some cash, uh, I will see. I, <laughs> my track record speaks otherwise, but the plan is to get in there in the morning, uh, buy a couple of days of food, maybe charge my shit up, edit, so upload some videos, and hopefully push it back to the trail tomorrow evening. That's what's going on in my head, but we'll see what happens. There was a hostel. Uh, apparently in the town but it is no more i guess i guess the guy moved out i don't know fucking know so that would have been a lot easier decision to stay at a 25 five dollar hostel but if they're all there is is like hundred dollar hotels that's gonna steer me a little bit closer to getting back on trail tomorrow evening we'll play by ear but we got eight and a half miles before we get there and decide that oh i just love being in my tent man peaceful that field that i'm camping next to is prime time moose and elk country so hopefully in the morning I can see uh, another herd of moose come through because this morning was fucking insane. I didn't want to leave my campsite. I sat there for an hour and a half watching those damn moose eat. It was fucking awesome. So hopefully tomorrow's a repeat of that. We'll see. Oh, gotta stop babbling. I'm tired, man. <laughs> we'll holler at you fuckers in the morning.